This is another episode of Secret Garden Step by Step. And uh, I'm coming closer to uh, the finish line. And uh, today I'm going to uh, add more color over here. I've been doing that uh, already and uh, I will continue doing so. And I'm going to add color to all the little areas that I haven't put color on yet. This is cadmium yellow, polychromos. And this is magenta by Brownsville. Just to add a little bit more color to this flower. Today is a special day for me because this morning I managed to finish the drawings for the Color Along project. There was one drawing that gave me headaches. <laughs> it just didn't work out the way I wanted to. But eventually I managed to make a design that is, uh, well, not perfect, but it is okay. And I think with adding color to it, it could look uh, lovely. So, all the drawings are finished now, and I contacted the uh, printer, had some questions, received some answers, so as soon as I have uh, the nerve, the nerves to, uh, to place the order, And I can do that right now if I want to. But I'm pretty nervous about it, I have to say. It is, uh, I've never done this before and I really hope that uh, the quality of the prints are uh, okay. So I think uh, I will place the order today. Very, very exciting. Nerve-wracking, I, I admit. This is Middle Purple Pink by Polychromos. So it has taken me months to uh, make the designs and figure out the best ways to make the designs, to do the scanning, etc. I've learned some things that I would do different the next time, but well, Here is my Faber-Castell eraser. Let's erase a little bit over here. So. Okay, let's move over to those leaves here. And I'm picking leaf green, again by Polychromos. I think uh, the thing that makes me most nervous for the printing is the amount of money that is involved with it. 
and uh, of course I know it is it is an investment here this is uh, deep cobalt green if all is if everything works out well then uh, the money will come back to me but you know it is quite a it is quite a it's a large amount of money for me anyway so that makes me uh, hesitant that makes me procrastinate Oh, this is um, cadmium yellow lemon and I put this pencil not in the yellow section but in the green section because there is this greenish tone in the pencil and I mainly use it in leaves. And this is Brilliant Green by Bruinzeel. I think I'm going to stop recording right now. And uh, I'm going to place that order. And then I come back and tell you that I did it. Let's do that. I'll be back. I'm back. And uh, I can tell you I did it. I did it. I just ordered the set of color along drawings. This is Brownsill moss green and uh, I feel very excited. If every thing goes right then the printer will send me 12 testing prints there are 12 designs for every month there is a drawing and uh, the printer will print all 12 so I can uh, determine whether the quality is okay but I already ordered one print so I'm quite sure that the quality is good and then they will print the complete sets This is Brownsill Light Green. So as soon as the drawings are um, printed, then uh, the next phase will start and I will start recording videos, instruction videos.
and um, I hope uh, the recording will go uh, will go smoothly and fast. This is permanent green by Polychromos. I'm also uh, looking into um, where and how to sell the sets. And I think I will... Uh, I already activated a Etsy shop, but there's nothing in it. I don't sell anything right now, but I think I will sell this set via Etsy. This is a deep cobalt green. And of course I'm also looking into selling via Amazon and there is a Dutch version of uh, Amazon bull.com Now the thing is, I have no experience at all with uh, selling things, so I have no idea how many sets I can sell. So this is really an adventure. This is uh, light cadmium yellow. I hope you are not um, affected by it, but um, the light here today is a very, very, it is dark outside. There are a lot of clouds. It is in the middle of the day, but it looks like uh, the sun could, uh, the sun, the sun is set is, uh, <laughs> is going to happen any moment. I hope my phone will pick up uh, enough light for you to see it, what I'm doing. Here is dark cadmium yellow. So I'm now just putting in color on all these areas where there is not much color yet or not at all.
and uh, let's add some color to these leaves I'm using grass green it is uh, still vacation here in the Netherlands here in the Netherlands um, around Christmas there are two weeks of uh, vacation uh, for the children who are in school and uh, that means uh, many people are uh, away from home they went away for a couple of days some of them uh, went uh, to the Alps Austria, France, Switzerland, Germany, Italy for skiing, winter sports and uh, others uh, are staying closer to home but are spending some time in a hotel or a, a cottage holiday homes this is pine green very dark green from the polychromo series so it's still vacation here and uh, that is why um, I don't have much students right now in my uh, voice studio so I can spend a little more time on coloring and uh, yesterday I finished one of the drawings for the color along project there was one drawing that gave me a headache <laughs> because it just didn't want to just didn't work the design and I changed it many times and I was just wasn't happy with it and to be honest I'm still not 100% happy with it but I think as soon as uh, color is being added then uh, well then I think the design will be uh, okay this is light green and I also had to keep in mind with the designs that they are they are for learning so I needed to uh, for example I also want to show you my techniques of uh, building background so some of the drawings have plenty of room for building background and there are drawings where you can practice how to draw flowers wood even snow and that is uh, I have to learn it myself too so that is nice we can explore that uh, together I will now give these leaves a little bit of red I did that with the other leaves the same leaves on more on the left of the page this is Pompeian red Just a little bit. I don't think I used this particular color on the other leaves, but that doesn't matter. It's just a, just a touch. And now I am going to use oh, an orange, cadmium orange. So yes, we are going to uh, explore coloring snow and wood, flowers, even shiny surfaces. 
they are there too. There's an animal there, a squirrel. So uh, we are going to figure out how to color fur and that fluffy tail. This is a permanent green olive. And I can feel that although there is not much color on this particular part of this page, I can feel that the paper is um, slowly getting uh, saturated with color. Spring Green by Luminance. And that means that um, once the paper is saturated, the coloring process is done. So we are getting closer and closer to the finish line. And actually, I feel happy about it. I love coloring this particular page, but um, I think I love uh, finishing it uh, right now. Cold Grey, number two. I would love to uh, finish it today, but um, I don't think that's going to work. But let's see how far we can go. And I'm going to use a slight touch of yellow. A light yellow glaze. And here is cadmium yellow, slightly darker. I'm going to use that for this uh, flower. And I'm just going to sketch the uh, petals. Give some color to the stamen, stamens. I finally managed to uh, remember the words, word stamen. So strange, it's, it's quite similar to the Dutch word. Well, that's not it's completely right. The part of the stamen we call stempel, and the stamen is called meeldraden, I think, in Dutch. Well, light cadmium yellow, just to add a touch of yellow here and there. It's difficult to see, it's really strange, it's becoming darker and darker. Well, that's okay, but um, it's not so nice when you are recording. So, this is light phthalo blue, and I'm going to add a little bit over here. Now, the inside of the book is always a struggle, so I won't be able to get that perfect.
It is uh, getting so dark that I uh, am having a hard time to see the details and to see difference between um, the lighter colors like the yellows. So I've decided to stop now and uh, hopefully I can continue uh, tomorrow. So I hope you uh, enjoy this one and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.